<coughs> well, in Britain, we don't like journalism in school, but in America, what they teach you is, apart from another load of cliches, is give half your story to one side and half to another in a dispute. That's okay if you're doing a football match or a, uh, if you're covering a public inquiry into a new highway round Auckland. But the Middle East is not a football match. It is a massive human bloody tragedy. And I don't think we can apply those rules in a place like the Middle East. Yes, I think we should be objective and unbiased on the side of those who suffer. If we were reporting the slave trade in the 18th century, would we give equal time to the slave ship captain? No, we'd talk to the slaves and the survivors on that ship. If we were present at the liberation of a Nazi extermination camp, would we give equal time to the SS spokesman? No, I think not. We would interview the survivors and talk about the victims. Just as when I was in Jerusalem, I did not give equal time to Islamic Jihad spokesmen after seeing the savagery that suicide bomber had committed. When I was in the Sabra and Shatila camps of 1982 and climbing over Palestinian bodies, I did not give equal time to the Israeli army who sent their Lebanese militia allies into the camps. Yes, I think we must be unbiased on the side of those who suffer and on the side of the victims. That is our job. It is not our job to treat the Middle East in the New York Times as a football match. <laughs>